Welcome back to the uh, Keith Zimmer Birthday Bash here at Northern Tier Wrestling. This is Jake and Beagle. We're joined at the table by Big Aaron Nasty. KJ will be back with us in a moment. Pleasure to have you with us, Aaron. Pleasure to be here, Fat Eagle. And we got the main we got the main title on the line right now. But I'm not excited to see Dewey Murray after he turned us back on the Federation to join those scums at EV2. Uh oh. I used to hold him in such high regard. Uh oh. Eagle, you hear me? You're loud and clear, Aaron. All right. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, I hear you loud and clear, Eagle. All righty. You know, with EV2 being out here, uh, I wonder if they got any of them cupcakes left over from earlier. Yeah, I knew you were going to ask that, Aaron. I thought I saw them in the back when I went to go interview a few people, including Brad Everhart, who I'll talk about later. This match never, here for the heavyweight title. Huh? I never thought I'd say this, but I'm pulling for Matic. I just can't stand how Dewey Murray turned us back on the fans. And this should be a... Uh, this should be a really, a really great contest right here. It'll be a real physical, physical battle. That's for sure. We got two big men, and you know a thing or two about horses. Oh yeah, we got the champion versus the former champion right here. Yeah. He's got something hidden under there, ref. I would, I would make sure. Oh man. And we are underway. Fans loving Matic here. Never Sarah. thought I'd hear that happen. Oh. Whoa. It's like a tumble dryer out there. Oh, yeah. Now they're just staring daggers into each other, acknowledging their power. Battle test for the big men to see who can outpower who. I'd and say it's pretty even, Eagle. I agree there. And you shared the ring with both of these men, right? Yeah, uh, no, I've been in the ring with Dewey. I haven't been in the ring with Matic. Ah. In your experience with Dewey, would you think he would have the upper hand here? Oh, definitely. He's got the size on his side. And that's not all. And, and just because he's got ball doesn't mean he's not muscular. He is a very strong man. He knows how to use that size behind him. You know, he's a trucker for a reason. Oh, yeah. Now we're just going to get a. Uh, we're just going to measure each other up here. No one moving an inch. Two immovable objects. Wow. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh, another big collision. Hear that from here to all across the everywhere. Kev, glad to have you back here. Yep, KJ's back with us. He went to get his pretzels, like we said earlier, to get pretzels. Maddox strongly having the crowd behind him. Wow. I'm really shocked about this. But like I said, I'm actually on Maddox's side for this one, but I'm going to try and keep it impartial, unlike some people. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, right in the gut. He cut him off. Oh, clubbing blow. Oh. Oh, my oh. goodness. Come back in the corner, take him to another one. Oh, he eats the buckle there. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Does he ever? I thought I heard a, I thought I heard a fan sound yell out eagle. I must be going crazy. Uh oh. Oh, oh boy! Look out! Four corners. Uh. We're getting the whole. F this isn't a. This isn't a. This isn't a strap match. Oh. Although a match like that, oh. these two would be really incredible. That's a rolling oh. dodge for Matic, but he gets sent over the top. The about a foot or two. Oh my! Uh oh! Oh boy! What athleticism from Matic, the former champion! Oh! And then Big Enziguri. 
Dewey is down. That could be some brain damage. On top of the brain damage, it's already an EV2. <laughs> Big Aaron speaking wisdom, and I can see KJ cringing right now. Uh-oh. Maddox oh. with the oh. suicide dive, taking out the first two rows. Uh oh first row, second row. <laughs> be careful, we have a security deposit. Wow. But I don't think the fans mind. This is incredible. Once again, Talk fans, heavyweight on. title on the line. Sorry to cut you off there. It's an right? up-close experience right there. And they got their money's worth. That section's getting their money's worth for real. Matic, actually quite charismatic with oh. the crowd. Oh, no. I hope he's wearing a cup. Referee didn't see where that rope landed, otherwise he would have a DQ. I got Jim Holbert just going around this ring oh, yeah. like a like a caged animal. He sure is looking bright right now. <laughs> He's choking him out with one of his with one of his bandanas. Ooh. And he just drops his weight on him. Right on the tailbone. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. Big elbow drop. Oh man. Big descent on that one. Oh yeah. I had a big yeah. We need somebody that much bigger. Look at Jim Holbert putting. Look at Holbert putting that sweaty bandana around his neck. Oh, man. it's disgusting. Oh. Uh oh, Maddox coming back. Oh, big right hands. Oh, but oh, oh. And he gets turned inside out. Oh. This could be all. That might be it. Nope. That was really close. Maddox kicks out at two. KJ's taking his sweet time eating those pretzels. He's not going to do any much talking. Crowd's really behind Maddox. <laughs> Every time you say that, I get more and more surprised, Darren. Oh! Whoa! Pain brushing him. Uh oh. Seeing this side of Dewey is very shocking. Yeah. Even though what we've seen him do before. Never even seen this side of him when we teamed up with each other. Oh! 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 My goodness. The European uppercut from Maddox. Oh. oh, we got a barbecue. We got chops. It's a barbecue. Oh, a rolling chop. Multiple right hands against the ropes. Dewey's looking uh -oh. woozy. Oh, I spoke too reversal. Soon. Oh, oh, it's like a flying forearm. Big forearm by Maddox. Uh oh, Dewey doesn't know where he is. Uh oh, look out. Oh, Not, uh, you another. walked right into that one, Eagle. Walked right into it. And he slammed the door. Ruff checking on Dewey Murray. Uh oh. Oh, we got some kids that still don't like Maddox. He's setting him up. Maddox setting him up. This could be all she wrote. The championship could change hands. Oh. Big corner European uppercut. Going for more. A second serving. Oh. oh. Single leg drop kick. Big single leg drop kick. Holbert almost got involved there. Dewey gets a shoulder up right in the nick of time. That was as close as you could call it. Holbert came within a fraction of an inch of pulling the referee out. Almost seen a new NTW heavyweight champion. Uh oh. That was in a celebrated moment. But he is just clubbing the gut of Maddox right now. Uh oh. Coming off the rope. Oh. Oh, he dodges that. Ooh. Cutter! Cutter! Cover! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he got his foot on the ropes. Holbert didn't touch him. Holbert saved him right there. Holbert got the referee's attention at the last second. Holbert's earning his pay. That may be blood money, but it is real money. This crowd firmly behind Maddox, the former champion. They've been firmly behind Maddox this whole match. Oh, my God. Oh, whoa. whoa. Almost whoa. collapses into the ref. Oh, oh low blow. Into an O'Connor roll. Oh. Dewey Murray retains his title. That was deplorable. Maddox trying to save the referee at the last moment. He paid for it nearly. I always do the right thing, but Maddox tried to do the right thing, and it backfired on him. And Dewey retains his title by dubious means. 
See, this is what a power I'm seeing with, with EV2. They never do it fairly. They have to they have to cut corners. Still your heavyweight champion, Dewey Murray. And you have to On behalf of EV2. And they continue to hold that gold hostage. Uh oh. Here comes HC Loke. HC Loke is in the ring. Oh my god. Ooh. He hits the rainmaker on Dewey Murray. I know how that feels. Look at Homer. Yeah, you just ate that a little while ago, and you seem to have recovered, okay? <laughs> Homer, I wouldn't get him angry. Yeah, really. <laughs> I think we, and remember, Loke is the number one contender. I think we know what he wants. And he's not in EV2, so I'm fine with it. Firmly announcing his intentions. And he makes Hobart run away. H.C. Loke making a statement. Definitely. And he just leaves. One move, and he's made his point. Mocking Murray with a good job. Next show it will be between those two. That is going to be a physical contest. Dewey Murray versus H.C. Lope, the teacher versus the student. <laughs> If I were you, Dewey, I would hold on to the title because with someone like H.C. Low coming after you, you might not have that much long left with it. Although if things had gone the right way, Aaron, it'd be you facing him at that next show.